Hi everybody, John Morrow. It's good to be with you today. I'm talking from a slightly different venue because this kind of reminds me of what it's like to be in an outdoor space when you're with your family. I can remember those times growing up where my mother and father took me to places and they were always keeping us close by and in hand. But I also remember situations where I've actually scared my parents because I decided I wanted to investigate and examine something. I sort of wandered off in a different direction while they weren't looking. It did mean that my parents were irresponsible. They were not. They were fabulous parents. But the truth of the matter is, children will do that to you. Children will wander off. They're naturally inquisitive. They're precocious and they're they're just full of curiosity. But their brains are working. They're learning. They're gaining new things. Now, I want to switch gears. That's children. But now you've raised your children. They're adults. They may even have their own children and you're a grandparent. But now you have a family member a spouse, maybe a mom or a dad, a brother or a sister. They have Alzheimer's. And suddenly you become the parent, so to speak, to that victim. You're a caregiver. Caregivers live in constant stress. And one of the most stressful things that happens in the Alzheimer's journey is when that victim, because they have lost their memories, they have lost their judgment skills, they will suddenly begin to wander. They'll leave a house in the middle of the night. When you're with them out in the public, they will wander off to some place. Do you know that even some Alzheimer's victims simply wander off because they don't want to be in the unfamiliar space that they're in? They want to go home and they think they have an idea of which direction to go and they start walking. There are stories that are very tragic of victims who took off without any warning and by the time they were found they had been involved in a terrible accident because they were simply meandering with no clear idea of where to go. And if there was anything in there that they could think of, it is, where can I find something that tells me I'm close to my own? These kinds of things are important to share with you because in reality, Alzheimer's is a learning experience and the more that you can learn and understand about Alzheimer's, the better you'll be able to deal with it. And even then in dealing with it, it will still be a tough piece of work to do. For those of you out there that come from families where Alzheimer's has touched it, or you've got a relative on some part of the family that has been touched by the disease, please take my advice. Don't do what I did. Don't ignore those signs. Start looking, start learning, and investigate closely because you need to be prepared to make the decisions that are important and be able to deal with that victim. For those of you out there that say, it doesn't look like that kind of problem is going to happen in my life. That's great. I hope it doesn't. I would never wish this on anybody. But what I'm trying to say to you is this. If you begin to understand just exactly how this disease operates, you're going to have the wisdom to know how to also be there to help the caregivers as they fight this battle. You see, all of us share this world together, and all of us need to begin to care for each other. And the best way to do that is to learn to see things that we've been missing. Because at the end of the day, the greatest gift that I can give you in form of hope is to learn to occupy the space you're in and take in your surroundings long enough to at least be like a child, be inquisitive, be fascinated, be curious, and seek to know more about your surroundings. You may very well make a difference either in your own life, the life of a loved one, or in the life of a dear friend. Start learning today to see what you've been missing and don't wander through life aimlessly. This is John Morrow. Until next time, have a great day.